Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. A bit ago, when my wife's sister and her husband were visiting us, we talked about Lathe. He is a loyal viewer of my videos, and I offered to set him up to turn something of his own on my lathe. In fact, I offered a bud vase. Well, we got busy and we didn't get around to that, so I decided today that I would go ahead and make a bud vase. Now, this one is a uh, an advanced bud vase, not the one that I would have had him make, because this is an eccentric turning. This is has the main axis plus three axes at 120 degrees apart, offset by hmm, about three eighths of an inch. Makes for an interesting figure, plus this is birch and is spalted, and I think it's quite nice. So let's make an eccentric bud vase. I harvested this birch about a year ago when a friend offered me what was to become otherwise firewood. At the time, the more narrow pieces I cut in quarters and rough turned round. Then I applied wax emulsion to moderate the drying. This piece has been laying around my shop since then. It is a beautiful piece of wood with no obvious cracks. I remounted it in the original center marks to begin. Since it is already mostly round, why not use a large skew? But what I really need is a mounting tenon to use in my squirrel chuck, so I'm switching to a badan. I sized the tenon with a shop made gauge, then finished the dovetail with a small skew. Now I'm swapping the drive center for my squirrel chuck. I tried the badan to clean up the end, but it left it too rough, so I switched to a gouge. But the badan does a better job with peeling cuts cut down the area that will form the neck of the vase. Back to a gouge for a gentler approach. Next, I need a one half inch hole for the glass tube that will hold the flowers. I'll do it now because who knows what will happen later. Then take off the chuck and bring back the stub center. It's time for eccentric fun and it's easier to maneuver without a chuck. I'm offsetting the drive center to the circle of the spur points, about 3 8 inch. I'll start a hollow on this eccentric axis with a gouge. After cutting the hollow as smooth as I can, I'll sand this area completely before moving on. After shifting the axis one-third or 120 degrees around the base, I'm moving up the bud base to the next section. For this base, I want the two hollows to intersect when the transition is fairly smooth. I'm not sure how to describe this in words. I'll sand this hollow completely before moving on and adjusting the axis by another 120 degrees or another third. This time, I don't want a hollow. Instead, this is a large, smooth bead running from the last hollow to the base. With the convex surface, I can risk using a skew to smooth out my cuts before sanding this section.
Now I'm mounting the wood back into my chunk. I've been very careful to preserve enough wood there for mounting it again. This is an important concern that I've often forgotten. Then my options are limited. I've decided that the bud base is too tall. The proportions don't work for me. So that last hollow will be just below the top with no neck. It does not take much time to get rid of that wood. Then, you guessed it, sand this area completely. But that left my flower hole too shallow. No matter, I'll drill it deeper. None of the eccentric hollows cut too deep for the shaft. Finally, the tough part, the base. I want a base that is slightly hollowed, but this was not to be. The irregular wood disrupted my cuts with each of the bedan, the skew, and finally a parting tool. Oh well, I'll just touch the base to a disc sander. After applying mineral oil and beeswax, I took it through the steps of the buffing system. And it looks great. No, not a beginner project, but bud vases do not have to be eccentric or off-axis turnings. This one shined up nicely. The spalting adds more character, and the proportions work for me. I think I'm finally getting the hang of eccentric turnings, but more practice will be required. They're still scary add variety to my turnings. With that, we'll see you again next week with another wood turning video. I love feedback. Please like this video, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.